Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel and today I'm going to do a updated planning system. I always do an updated one when I change planners or put add a couple or subtract a couple from my planning rotation and it's been a little while since I've done one. I think the last time I did one was in maybe January or early February, I'm not sure. But um, over those few months I've taken away some planners. Uh, and I'm using some different ones now, so I just want to kind of go in and show you what planners I am using. So first up is this one that has been the one that's always kind of just stayed, and this is the Hello Beautiful one. I use this as my mood tracker, as many of you know, and I love it because it helps me keep track of all of my moods. Since I have, you guys know I have BPD, depression, anxiety, so I track my moods every single day except for that week. <laughs> um, but um, this planner, you know, has always just been in rotation. I don't think it's really going anywhere. But yes, I love this planner for this purpose. Next up is this one. This one is a new one I've added, and this is what I use for my Etsy store. I track my sales, analytics, and favorites every single day so I can see, you know, what's working, what may not be working, and see how many people are viewing my shop and if I make any sales, and I just keep track of that. I don't really need to open it because this is for my, you know, for me, everyone doesn't need to know my sales and analytics and all that except me, but this is what I keep it in and I really love this planner for that purpose. Next up is this one right here. This is the Market Floral. And let's go down a little bit. This is what I'm now using as my personal planner. As many of you guys know, I was using the Recollections personal size planner that I went to, the zipper planner, then back to the Recollections. And I was just pretty much over the whole planner and wallet system. And the reason I was over is because there was times where I would carry a mini bag with me and I would take my cards out of my wallet and forget to put them back in. And another thing is that I realized that I don't need to take a personal planner with me everywhere. Only when I need to make like appointments. If I'm going to the grocery store, I don't need my planner. So if I know if I'm going to be out for a while, I will take this with me. But it's something that I don't need to and so I like that it's separate. And this is just my, you know, my personal and love this planner. It's an absolutely gorgeous planner and I love using it. And that was last week and this is this current week. And then by the time you see this video, this will be the week that we're on. And I really just like it. I love the color of it. I love the decor in here. It's really, really pretty. Next up is this Michaels uh, Recollections A5. And I've had this A5 planner for a while. I just didn't know what to do with it. And when I created my PR team, I knew I wanted to have a planner just for them. And so that is what I'm using right here. And this is just the month of April. And this was last week. And I don't write a ton in here because I keep in contact with my PR team every single day, multiple times a day. So I just write down, like, just, you know, check in with them and then what listings are going up. And then this is, you know, the current week that we are on. Um, so I really love having a separate planner just for them. That way it's not, you know, jumbled up in my work planner. Next up is my... Inkwell Press and the Happy Planner Deluxe cover. And you guys know I absolutely love this planner. This is the current week that we're on right here. This week is pretty bare because my kids are on spring break so I don't have a lot going on. And then this is the next week that I haven't filled out yet. But I really love using this as my life planner because it does have goals in here and there's a lot of extras in here that I really love that Inkwell Press offers. So still using this and I will continue to use it. I'm hoping that they do one for 2018. I talked to Tanya Dalton, Tanya Dalton a little bit on Twitter and she said there were, you know, they are coming back. They just don't have the details of when yet. So very excited for that. And lastly, you guys know, this is the Happy Planner. Um, this is your year, and that was last week. And this is the week that we're on right here. And you guys know, I absolutely, absolutely love this planner for work, and I love that it's very neutral and monochrome, and I really just love it. And this is the week we're currently on. And this is next week. I've already planned it out. 
very neat and everything so that is my updated planning system i am using one two three four six planners you know and i like it you like the this planner i don't write in a ton so it's not something that i am constantly working out of it's just you know for information these two are the main planners that i look at every single day every single day these are the main planners that i look at um, my personal I just, you know, check it to make sure. But, you know, this I just write at the end of the day, this multiple times. So, you know, it's not like one planner, put it away, take out another. It's not really a job for me. It's just a different planner for different purposes. You guys know me. I'm not a one planner girl. I'm multiple planners. But this system is working for me for now. And if anything changes dramatically, then you guys know I will do another updated video. But that is that. And that is the end of my updated planning system. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all next time.